Hey guys, Grumpy here with a complimentary video to the Missile Ballistic Guide. Um, I just wanted to allay some fears with newer players and then also get ahead of the comments that are going to talk about um, not picking missiles with limited ammo. Um, so a lot of people are going to say, well, once you fire off, you know, your two or three missiles, isn't that it? Like, you don't have anything else to contribute to the battle. These would be better off being, um, you know, um, like a ballistic weapon or something, something that can continue to fire. Um, well, I just wanted to say that, one, um, the only part that I agree with is uh, when picking missiles, don't pick the smaller variants So because you're trying to save like OP. So here we have the Sabo SRM double. It provides two Sabos, whereas the Sabo SRM provides three. It's worth it to pay that extra OP cost so that you have more limited, um, so that you have more shots to fire. The reason you want to do that is because you can get multipliers on this. So with expanded missile racks, it brings that three up to six. And then my main character doesn't have any combat skills. But if we took someone like Lieutenant um, Winter Humble here, who has missile specialization, it would bring that six up to nine. So you would now have nine sabos. And then because most ships have more than one small um, missile slot, you can have, you know, two, three, four, five, whatever, however many small missile slots you get. So on the brawler, I have up to 12 um, Sabo missiles total. If I had the missile specialization perk, I would have 18 missiles. And there's no way that like 18 Sabo missiles isn't enough to win like a battle. Um, you shouldn't need more than that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. You know, even with 12 SRM or 12 Sabo missiles, that's gonna be plenty for the for the kinds of fight that you're typically gonna get into. And then the second part of the video is gonna shout out the Vigilance. It is an extremely powerful early game ship. Um, to be honest, it kind of deserves a nerf. <laughs> uh, but we'll talk about you know like um, why it's so good of a ship. But let's go ahead and run a simulation. Um, so typically this ship is designed, or my fleet is designed to ambush merchant convoys. So typically merchant convoys are going to have like one cruiser. Um, they're going to have like two destroyers. So let's go with a um, Sunder and a Hammerhead. And then they're just going to have like a bunch of small frigates. So let's go with like a Brawler. Let's go with a couple Lashers. And I don't know, what else? what else do you guys want? Um, I don't know. We'll give him a hound, sure. So this is a pretty typical fleet that we tend to face off against. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ships. I have twelve Sabo missiles. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the omens with me. Um, the omens. If you see me on Twitch, this is pretty much like my bread and butter of my fleet. It's a frigate supported by two omens. The omens provide uh, point defense, and they also um help like stun lock larger ships so they're usually by my side uh, very rarely do i deploy just myself in combat all right so let's go ahead and size this up um so we have two lashers a sunder and a eagle um, let's go ahead and take an opportunity to take down the lasher okay kind of looks like they're clumping together Alright, cool. So the Lasher is disabled. Um, we want to wait until its shields are facing us so that the Sabos impact the shield um, and then we can kill it. Actually, here we have an opportunity to just shoot it in the back. So let's see if we can just shoot it in the back. Okay, no. So it started to rotate. So its flux is about halfway. So when we fire our Sabos, it should be enough to overload it. Okay. So we got unlucky there, and the um, our assault chain guns hit the shield, and our sabos hit the the body, but that's fine. I mean, that's gonna happen in combat. Um, so here we have another lasher. We're gonna do the same thing. This one isn't spinning, so our sabos should hit the shield. Um, we should be able to kill it, and then we should have enough time between where these ships are, and where this eagle is to get behind the eagle and go ahead and take it out as well. Um, and to buy some more time, I'm actually going to send the omen here, 
and he's going to go ahead and tank uh, these four ships. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to send both, uh, just as uh, defense. So let's go ahead and kill the Lasher, and then kill the Eagle. Oh, and in case you didn't know, you can change your weapon systems while you're paused. So sometimes in the heat of battle, things might get hectic. Just pause, uh, reevaluate your situation, and then um, resume. Right, so there you saw the value of um, why you want to fire your Sabos on linked. Uh, because they both struck the target at the same time, it instantly overloaded them completely. Um, and now we have an opportunity to just put uh, shots down fire, down range. Okay, so that lasher is gone, um, and this lasher is still here. Well, his corpse is still here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our shield, um, hide out behind the lasher, and then um, basically unload all of our sabos at once. And get rid of uh, his shields. Not all of them, because we still have eight left. But about two or three rounds should be enough to take him out. Also, it looks like he's firing Sabo, so we're actually going to back up and let that Sabo dud or impact us. But the point is, we don't want to overload ourselves uh, going after him. Okay. We're going to use the Lashers as uh, blockers here. And let's see if we can bait out some more of his missiles. Okay, there goes two. Let's see if we can bait out another one. He might not be tempted to fire them. I don't know why he's going after that. That's weird. Alright. So the reason I want him to use up his missiles um, is because the AI does like a really bad job of um, choosing when to, to use their missiles. And if I can have him expend all of his sabos at once, I don't have to worry about overloading when I go in to kill him. So let's go ahead and hide behind the lasher to break these beams, reset our flux, and then go in to engage. Okay, it looks like we have the Hound joining us. The Hound is an unshielded target, so we can go ahead and just kill him real quick. Alright, and then we want to hide out behind the Lasher to break the beams, drop our Flux. Alright, and now, there's a visual indicator of how many missiles a uh, ship has. So I know he has no Sabos. All that he has left is the Heavy Mortars and Graviton Beams. I'm not worried about the Graviton Beams, and the Heavy Mortars only do high explosive damage, not shield damage. So I know that I can go in and um, secure this kill pretty easily. Also, um, I know that from just visually looking, but you can press R and see what his weapons are. So here it has Heavy Mortars on the front, they do high explosive. Uh, gravitation Graviton Beams do uh, kinetic, and then he has uh, some PD lasers. So second reason why you want to fire them linked is because it'll overwhelm his PD, especially if we're in close proximity, they won't get an opportunity to uh, focus on our missiles. Okay, cool. So um, that was kind of a waste of Sabos, but basically what I did was I wanted to get his uh, flux up pretty high, so I supplemented it with my assault chain gun. And then I fired off that last round of Sabos to push him from like 80% all the way to overloaded. Um, then we're going to drop off our shields so that we lose flux like we talked about in the energy guide. And then I'm going to continue to fire. Also my omens are absolute champions. They're having no problems keeping these uh, ships at bay. Um... I pause it because I want to demonstrate this. There's a lot of things happening very quickly. Um, I want to keep firing this gray target. So if you see here on the um, ship overlay, these are areas where the armor has been stripped away. So it doesn't really matter for ballistic weapons. But for energy weapons, you always want to strike these like dark gray targets. Because that's where you're going to make the most like bang for your buck for energy weapons. Because you're actually hitting the hole at that point. 
So when you line up on a target, you really want to keep just hammering the same spot. Um, if you can hammer near the engines, that's really good because you have a higher chance of disabling their engines. So as the ship rotates, I rotate. And then, um, it's hard to see, but as the ship was about to detonate, I activated my shield, which absorbed the um, explosion. Okay, cool. So we're down to um, two Savos, and the only thing they have left is a Sunder, a Hammerhead, and a Brawler. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to go in and save our omen here. And then that's the Salamander missile like we talked about in the missile guide. Um, it targets engines specifically. A good counter to this, and you can see it on the Sunder, is the Vulcan Cannon. Um, so the Vulcan Cannon is going to target the missile as it like swings in. And it may detonate it, but it looks like... Um, actually, it won't detonate it because our... Um, our omens have ECCM package, so it should impact. Oh no, it got it at the very last second. Interesting. Alright, so we're gonna move in here, and here is clear as day, like we have a beautiful opportunity to blow this up. Okay. Sunders are perfect uh, Sabo targets because they build up so much flux so quickly um the easiest way to kill us under is to let it um <laughs> overload itself but here we don't have to because um basically we had an opportunity to get on its engines very quickly all right so all we have left is a hammerhead and a brawler um our omen is starting to take damage so let's go ahead and, and help him out and then let's go ahead and take out this uh, hammerhead. So I want to let the hammerhead just go ahead and self-destruct, build up some flux. We can help him out here. So we talked about the um, flux versus um, damage in our ballista guide. The the assault chain guns are not effective against um, shields, but basically because they're so flux efficient, I'm going to be able to build up his flux faster than he's going to build up my flux, which will give it an opportunity for me to use my sabos after I get him to about 60%. Um, and then the sabos that I fire should be enough to overload him. Yeah, see? Like clockwork. Um, so that's a perfect opportunity to use your sabos. Now he's disabled, I'm going to drop my shield and then just lay into him. And then all that's left is the brawler. And then that's a demonstration of, um, you know, how effective 12 sabos can be in a fight. So yeah, so that's, um... You know how far you can get with 12 sabos again like we talked about if i had missile specialization i would have 18 total um 12 is plenty right we took down a cruiser we took down what two or three destroyers and then four frigates or five frigates right with those 12 sabos that we had um we just look for clean opportunities to use them um really like waiting for the opponent to either flux themselves out or applying some pressure so that we could get them their flux high enough that when we use our sabos, um, they would flux out. And now I want to give a shout out to uh, the Vigilance. So the Vigilance is a frigate. Um, it only has two weapon slots, but those weapon slots both happen to be uh, mediums. So what this means is you get basically a lot of um, a lot of power <laughs> um, on a frigate. So like the reason why the brawler is so good is because it gets access to two um, medium slots in these uh, ballistics. The vigilance gets a ballistic slot and then a missile slot. And the way I like to build it is with this is in the very very early game, is with safety overrides and an unstable injector. Um, I'm talking about when I have like you know six ships total in my fleet. 
Um, they're mostly going to be frigates, so I need them to move quickly. And we're all about just ambushing. So I just want as much, as much speed as possible. I don't really care about longevity. Um, as the game goes on, you probably want to replace that with um, expanded missile racks. Um, start thinking about building in defenses. Um, maybe like nav relay to give support to your fleet. But in the very early game, safety overrides and uh, unstable injectors. This doesn't really impact you so much as a vigilance because this only affects ballistic range. It Both of these affect ballistic range. It doesn't affect um, missile range. So it's really good. Um, but yeah, that's the Vigilance. Um, this would be an AI-friendly build, so the AI is really good at using Sabos and then following up with the Mauler, just because the, the Sabos have longer range than the Mauler, so it's kind of forced to do this. Whereas if you did it in the reverse, where you had something like Harpoons, which do high explosive, and then uh, Heavy Needler, because the Harpoon has a much longer range, the AI will just dump their Harpoons into a target, um, before that target drops its shields. So this is more player friendly where you know you need to move in close than Harpoon and then um, versus what the AI would do. But yeah, that's um, this is a complimentary video. Um, I hope that like alleviated some fears or, or dispelled some rumors on why you shouldn't pick limited um, ammunition, like uh, small missiles with limited ammunition. Um, other than that, grumpy out.